Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to do the Tree of Life puzzle mystery quilt from Cotton Cuts block four. I'm doing the small one. We're making this block. I have already made three of them. You're making four. Uh, due to my wrist, thumb issues, I figured you didn't want to see me struggle with four so I've been working on them. But let's get started. So I've laid out all my pieces just like the diagram I checked them all uh, again you're gonna do four of this whole process I'm going to do one set of or one block so we're gonna start with I'm gonna lay this here actually because I find it easier to follow than the actual instructions for the purpose of this so we are going to start with half square triangles well Okay, I'll lay this here too, I guess. We're going to do this one first, A and D. We're going to make two of them because that's what is in the block. That's these two. So one block is going to have two of these. So I'm going to fold them over and we're going to sew these up. So let's head over. Where is my? I don't know where that other one went. I had another one laying here, but now I don't. So let's cut this one off. All right, let's go back over, cut these apart, and it tells me I'm going to iron it to A, so we are going to iron it to A. Then we are going to lay it just how it shows it in the picture, and we're going to find two of D, one of D one of D. We're only attaching one like this. I can't see that paper from there. I must set it over here and use this. We're going to lay one to the side and we're going to sew one together like this. I'm going to flip it over because I want to sew from the flat side or the one piece side. So I'm just going to sew that down. We're going to leave that there so not to waste thread. Next we're going to take an A, our last A square, and a D, and we're going to sew those together just like this and straight down. Now we need them off. Actually, that's a lie. We're going to go back and we're going to take our other half square triangle. It's going to lay with the A side up. And we're going to take our last D square and we're going to lay it down here. So I'm just going to sew these along this line. Now I'm going to cut the first two off. Oh, I didn't take you with me on that one. Sorry about that. So for the first one with the half square triangle, we are going to iron it to the solid side. And we're going to iron the other one with our two squares to the same color there. I'm 
then we're going to lay it. It's going it's this set right here. So we're going to lay it like this and it see matches. We're going to fold it over and I'm going to pin it right here. Again, you're going to have four sets of this when you're done. I'm going to pin it at the top. Now, we're going to sew that, but first we're going to move on to the next step, which is the flying geese block. So I'm going to, well, it's sort of a step ahead. That's your F piece. And then you're going to take your two B half squares and they're going to go there. So I'm just going to, actually I'm going to lay that there. It's going to be just one step away from us. And I'm going to fold this over and we're going to sew this also after we sew that one. So let's head over. off and back over and now our big four patch we are going to iron to the bottom which is our two solid blocks and the other half square we're also gonna we're gonna iron that actually to the half square triangle block because it is going to go on this side. So we've ironed them opposite and we'll fold this over and pin it at the seam. So I got a lot of comments. I normally do wear a hard brace around my house, but for sewing, I do put on this one because, well, you can't sew with your thumb. Well, you could, I guess, but with your thumb sticking straight out. So I sacrifice a little bit of pain for that. So we're just going to sew down through here. And then this piece is done. Okay, now we're going to cut off that other piece head back over. It's a lot of back and forth when I'm only doing the one block. So we're going to iron that open. I'm going to take the other half square and we're going to lay it down on the other side. We'll go sew it up. So we're just going to go ahead and take it off. Okay. We're going to iron this one to, let's see. To this little side. So there's the bottom half. Now we're going to, let's iron this open. We're going to take our last remaining piece, and B, and we're going to iron it, or iron it, sew it to this side, right here. I'm just going to fold it over. I am going to flip it because I want to sew from that side. And we're going to sew straight down. We're going to iron this open to the flying geese block. 
And then we're going to flip it upside down. And it's going to go right there like that. So we're just going to fold it down. I'm going to pin at this seam first because it's the only one that really has to match up. And then I am going to fold this down and try to get my point there matched as best as possible. And then I will put one in the end to keep it straight. And I'm just going to hold the beginning because we're going right over there. it a little bit but not enough to redo it All right. and I'm actually going to change my thread after this one so I'm not going to put another one on there alright because the thread I used on these came with the kit so I'm only using it on that we're going to iron this to the smaller part I didn't do too bad so there they are you will have four I do have four and again it is clue number four huh. all right there it is I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope if you're making it it was helpful and I will see y'all next time have a great day